hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in Windows application how to filter the rows or page size of the data grid view control and here we got the final output I am selecting the records 3 see we got 3 records displayed in the data grid view control if I select 7 we got 7 records 20 we got 11 records because in our employee table we have 11 records only if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates for this video tutorial i am creating a new windows application go to file new project and from the windows templates i am selecting windows forms application and the dotnet framework i am using 4.6.1 the application name is data grid view page size okay and here the application is created successfully let me expand this form on design page now in this design page I'm adding two controls one is a combo box control to add the page sizes and the second control is the data grid view control to display the data open toolbox all windows forms combo box control and notice there is a small button on the combo box click that one which is a combo box task click edit items I am entering some collections here to display the page size 3 7 20 I want to display the rows in the data grid view control click OK the next control I'm adding the data grid view control open toolbox data grid view control that's it up to now we have finished the designing part now double click the form 1 design page it will generate the form load event let's add the namespaces using system.data dot SQL client using system dot configuration the system dot configuration namespace is used to get the connection string from the app dot config file but in Windows application the system dot configuration DLL library is not added in the project references folder notice here there is no system.configuration so we need to add the system.configuration into this references folder right click the references add reference from the assemblies framework find the system.configuration here and the version is 4.0 click ok and notice the system.configuration DLL library is added under references project folder let me minimize this one after that open server explorer in this data connections I'm adding my database right click the data connections add connection the server name of SQL server after adding the server name I'm selecting the database name sample DB is my user database I have selected test connection is succeeded ok ok notice that sample db.db word database is added under data connections we need this data source of the sample db to add in the app.config file right click the sample db.db go to properties in the properties the connection string notice the data source copy that one open solution explorer app.config file open that one in the app.config file between configuration I'm adding connection strings add name is equals to my connection string connection string I'm adding the data source and the last one is a provider name which is a system dot data dot SQL client after adding the connection string switch to the code behind now in the form load 
string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes I am adding connection string which is my connection string the connection string name dot connection string SQL connection SQL con is equals to new SQL connection I am adding main con object here string SQL query is equals to now here the SQL query I am writing the select statement before writing the select statement let's visit the SQL server management studio we'll check the table and the column names the table name is the employee table which contains four columns ID name email and salary and contains 11 rows let's bind this table into a data grid view control select start from employee table SQL command SQL com is equals to new SQL command this SQL command takes two parameters the first one is a command text which is a SQL query and the second one is the object of the SQL connection which is this one SQL con let's open the connection string open method SQL data adapter SDA is equals to new SQL data adapter I'm adding this SQL com data table DT is equals to new data table SDA dot fill method I'm filling the data with the data table object let's bind the data grid view data grid view one dot data source is equals to dt close the connection string as called conduct close method that's it up to now we have just binded the employee table in the data grid view control but before adding the custom page size of the data grid view control let's set the basic output start and here we got the output the combo box got the collections 3720 and data grid view is binded with the employee table now my next target is when I select any of the list items for example 7 I want to display the data grid view rows 7 rows in this data grid view control let's finish the rest of the code let's close this window switch to the design mode double click the combo box control it will generate the selected index changed event now int display rows is equals to combo box one dot selected item dot to string and notice we got a small error cannot implicitly convert type string to int so let's convert this one convert dot to int 32 and here the condition I have given I have selected the combo box items and I am storing in this display rows now instead of writing this whole code I am copying this part pasting here select star from select top plus plus I am adding display rows here I have just changed the select query instead of select star from employee I have given select top the number of rows to display from the employee table let's check the final results on the output start and here we got the final output I am selecting the records 3 see we got three records displayed in the data grid view control. If I select seven, we got seven records. Twenty, we got eleven records. Because in our employee table, we have eleven records only. That's it.